Welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk about my experiences testing out three different options for rain gear while hiking and backpacking. I'll talk about the pros and cons of each option and my thoughts about where each option might fit into my hiking and backpacking plans. Let's jump right into it. First off, I'll talk about the traditional rain jacket. Most people have a rain jacket in their kit and there are a bunch of lightweight options on the market today like this Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket, which weighs 7.16 ounces. The pros of a jacket are, they pack down to the size of a baseball, offer good wind protection on windy days, and add a layer of insulation when it's cold out. They have great mobility and range of motion while hiking, particularly on steep climbs or rocky scrambles. The cons of a jacket are, they aren't very breathable, and I tend to overheat and sweat more while hiking with the jacket on. Mine doesn't have pit zips, so the only ventilation I have is from the zipper in the front. Other drawbacks are that the hood limits peripheral vision, and my big ear is constantly rub against the hood, making it hard to hear the peaceful sound of the rain or the hungry beer sneaking up on me. The next option I have been trying is a poncho. Mine is the Frog Togs poncho, which weighs 7.87 ounces. The main benefits that I noticed right away was the breathability. The poncho drapes loosely over me and offers a ton of ventilation, so I don't overheat while hiking. Other pros are that it also offers some coverage for my pack and better coverage for my front, draping down lower than the rain jacket. It's not quite as low as a rain kilt, but it covers my pockets, which adds some protection for my phone or video gear. One of the immediate cons of the poncho for me was getting the darn thing on. I recorded a clip putting it on and felt like I needed some clown music for it. While re-watching the clip, I realized that I buttoned one of the sides incorrectly, which made it a bit lopsided in the back and took away some of the pack coverage. Another con was that I felt like the range of motion was not as good as with the jacket, and there were a couple times on the steep downhills where the poncho blocked my view of where I was stepping. It also flapped around in the wind a bit and popped one of the buttons open. Other cons were that my arms were left exposed to get wet, and similar to the jacket, the hood limits my ability to see in here. The last option I tried was a lightweight hiking umbrella. This purchase was inspired by a few AT through hikers that I followed on YouTube who swear by them. I picked up the Six Moon Design Silver Shadow, which weighs 8.89 ounces. I also picked up the Gossamer Gear Hands-Free Umbrella Clamp, which only weighs about half an ounce. In theory, I loved the idea of a hands-free umbrella, but that clamp kit was tough to get right. Thankfully, I've had a couple of rainy days to mess with the setup and get it stable. I had to put the clamp just above the strap at the top of my pack to keep it from sliding down. When I had it lower, the strap would slide and cause the umbrella to wobble a lot, and the shaft would rhythmically whack me in the side of the head. And nobody wants to catch a concussion from a hiking umbrella. That's bad for the reputation. Anyway, I made the adjustment, and this thing didn't budge at all on any of my climbs or descents during my last trip. The main drawback to attaching it this high is that it shifts the angle of the umbrella back and provides less coverage for my front and arms. Having the umbrella secured in place also makes it challenging to navigate some areas where low-hanging branches are over the trail. One of the main benefits of hiking with a hands-free umbrella is more breathability and less overheating. The umbrella also sheds rain better than the jacket, which tends to soak through after a while. I'm also able to keep using my two trekking poles, and with this angle, it provides me some coverage to my pack so the pack cover isn't handling all the rain by itself. I recently saw a video on the Backcountry Banter channel where he suggested just holding the umbrella instead of rigging it to your pack, so I decided to give that a shot as well. The main benefits of doing this was I had much better coverage from my front, which offers rain protection to my arms and makes it easier to take videos and pictures. You can also maneuver branches and other obstacles much more freely 
and adjust the angle of your umbrella based on the wind and, the, and where the rain's coming from. You still have the other benefits I mentioned before with the hands-free setup, with the exception of the coverage for the backpack. While reviewing the clips that I shot for this video, the umbrella coverage stops just above the backpack, which would concentrate a lot of water on the top of the pack and potentially in the area behind the suspension on my Exos that doesn't get coverage from the pack cover. The final drawback to this method is I have to stow one of my trekking poles away, and I like having both handy for wet downhills. I also was concerned that the trekking pole tip might poke a hole in my pack cover. As you can see, each option has its pros and cons, and it's tough to say if one method is better than the others. It comes down to personal choice and what fits your needs better as a hiker. I think I'll always pack a jacket on trips because even if I'm not using it for rain protection, it's a great way to block the wind and retain some heat when taking breaks or at camp. I'll probably only keep the poncho on my small day hike kit. It's lightweight and quick to deploy, providing good protection from the elements if I get caught in a sudden storm. As far as the umbrella goes, I'm liking the benefits I mentioned, although I'm not sure which I prefer, hands-free or holding it. On most trips that I do where I can plan around the weather, or for simple day hikes, I don't think I would pack it. But if I was planning a through hike where I was certain to spend a lot of time hiking in the rain, doing chores around camp, or walking around town on a zero day, the umbrella would definitely be a great piece of gear to have handy. Anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts and feedback, so leave a comment and let me know what your choices are for rain protection. Thanks for watching.